Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Shippo to WooCommerce in 2023. So today, we're going to explore or we're exploring the integration of Shippo, which is a robust shipping platform with your WooCommerce store. So if you're ready to optimize your shipping processes, make sure to stick around and let's dive into the step-by-step -step process of connecting your Shippo of course, to your WooCommerce site or store. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and sign up for a Shippo account. To do so, go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the URL section and here you will have to type sorry, shippo.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, this should take you into the home screen or main screen of shippo.com right away or goshippo.com. And of course, here, if you have an account, go to the top right corner, click on sign in to, uh, to log into your account. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to instead click on start for free to create a new account, or you can even click here in the middle. If you don't know nothing about Shippo, you can, of course, obviously scroll down and read more information about it and just familiarize yourself about it. You can see what people are saying about it. You can have some general idea or just you'll be able to familiarize yourself about it a bit. Then, uh, if you have an account, as I said, just go and click on sign in to sign in into your account. And for me, I have an account, so I'll just go and sign in into that. And of course, as you can see, we just sent an email verification with the code. So I'll have to enter that code in here. So I'll have to go and check the code. The code is 548461. I just saw from my phone. So once I did, of course, I will find myself with my Shippo account ready to use. So as you can see in here, they will even tell me that uh, let's start shipping, test. This is, of course, the name that I created my account with, which is test. And as you can see, they're telling me here, like, connect to store, or I can even manually create a label or even upload a CSV file of some product that I have to ship. So for me here, as an example, if I click on connect a store, as you can see, I will be able to click on WooCommerce here and connect this right away without any problems. So if I click on WooCommerce in here, this should take me in here. So what I will need to do is simply enter the store URL and simply click on connect to WooCommerce. What I will need to do now is just go to your WooCommerce, go to woo.com and log into your account if you have an account and if you don't you'll have to go and create one create a store and etc those are some basic things that you can do by your own then click on my stores once you click on my stores in here make sure to go and get the url of your store so as an example just go and click on your store and get the url of that as an example so something expected yeah I, because it's like my store is not even created so anyway you'll have to go and get the url of your store then simply come back here and enter that url from here that if you want to establish the connection or start the connection from your uh, shippo account you can start the connection from woocommerce or from the plugin so make sure to go to your local host and access your plugin because of course you'll be able to do that through wordcommerce uh, uh, wordpress and of course, go to plugins here on this left panel, click on plugins, then click on add a new plugin. What we'll need to do in here, we can simply go and click on search plugins and here we'll have to look for Shippo. So let's just wait. And as you can see, multi-carrier Shippo, shipping rate addresses validate for WooCommerce. This is what we want. Uh, of course, you can look for other apps, for example, like this one. So shipping tracking, uh, tracking and order tracking for WooCommerce and etc. So look for whatever suits you you can of course see uh, all the details about whatever like you want before even installing this make sure to see the description installation change log uh, screenshots on how the settings going to look like reviews of other people see what they say about it. if you like it just go and click on install and of course you'll have to once it's installed you'll have to activate it so we'll have to wait until it's installed and then click on activate to activate it and yeah once it's done, what you'll need to do now is simply scroll down and find that plugin that you just downloaded. As simple as that. So for me, as an example in here, I'll have to go and look for that. So I'm just like looking for it, which is, uh, I even like forgot the name of it. Let me just go again through this. Okay, I can't find it. Okay, never mind. That's the one. So simply have to go and click on click on settings in here. 
so we can access the settings of this plugin and of course here i can now scroll down and you'll find like shipo settings uh, sh uh shipping a real-time shipping live uh, shipping rate so you have here some questions if you want the answer of it uh, troubleshooting tips if you have one of those problems as example now you will have to of course to connect that so basically you'll have to enable to disable if you want to enable just check it out and you'll have to enter your api token you can get that from shipo as example let's just go back in here and of course you can go to your settings go to this list panel click on api and generate an api key for your own you can even like click on apps if you want to download some apps so let the apps does not matter at the moment you'll have to go to the api and generate a live token of course once you generate the live token you'll have to go back in here enter that out and here you can even uh, enter like uh, or generate a test token if you want to just test this out first of all generate that test token and get that token in here then you'll be able to connect it once you connect it you can of course just customize any additional settings that you want here in shipo ship in and once you're done of course as you can see you have a lot of settings once you're done just click on save changes and congratulations you already like connected that so you'll be able to start the connection from woocommerce through plugins or you can simply go to here to shippo and of course connect your store so example go to your business on the settings also click on stores and here you will have to click on woocommerce and simply enter the url of your store right in here and you can even check uh, out our WooCommerce frequent last questions regarding system requirements and troubleshooting, as an example, if you want to. But what you will need, basically need to do, just enter your, your URL here, click and connect with WooCommerce, and yeah, GG. Already like uh, you're done. So once you establish the connection, once you are ready, what you'll need to do basically it's just set up any shipping like rates and carriers sync orders and shipments uh, automated shipping processes so i will let uh, you do that by your own so basically you can utilize the shipo automation features to like streamline the shipping tasks uh, automate the label generation uh, tracking and even streamline some order fulfillment processes you can even or make sure to even regularly monitor the shipment uh, status and track orders directly from shipo so make sure to do that in here on Shippo and make sure to keep track of delivery status and transit times and any potential like shipping issues. This is very, very important. And yeah, that's it. So for you, as I said already, congratulations, you've successfully like connected your Shippo with WooCommerce Store and you'll be able now to optimize your shipping operations. So thank you for joining me today. Of course, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. If you have any issues, you can always leave it down in the comments section. And yeah, that's it. So I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye and thanks for watching again.